In this video, we'll cover OEM prep kit installation for the Akuva Wanderer 2.0. The tools required to perform this procedure include a cordless drill, bits appropriate to your system's hardware, a tape measure, wire strippers, and wire cutter. Prepare your installation area by removing any cabinets, drawers, or plumbing which may be in your way. The purification unit is seated onto a DIN rail. The water filter will be secured using two wall clips. The combined installation area measures approximately 13 and a half inches tall by 14 inches wide. This helpful diagram can be used to visualize the installation procedure. Mounting hardware is installed to secure the purification unit and the water filter to the cabinet wall beneath the sink. Beginning with the DIN rail, using your cordless drill and the appropriate screw, install the rail two inches below the top of your installation area and a half of an inch to the left of the area's most right-hand side. Now the wall clips. Install the right-hand clip. 10 inches below the DIN rail and 6.5 inches to the right of the installation area. Install the left hand clip approximately 4.5 inches to the left of the first one and at the same height as the first. Let's prepare the water filter for installation. First, red clips located at the bottom and top of the filter should be removed. Then, using a set of wire cutters or pliers, pry the plugs free on either side of the filter. The filter is now ready to be clipped to the wall. When installing the water filter, ensure that its intake side, marked on the label, is facing to the right. It can be shimmied to adjust its position to ensure that there's enough room for the plumbing installation later on. Now, let's turn our attention to the electrical side of the installation. Let's prepare the DC adapter for install by stripping the wire back to give you room to work with the positive and ground wires. Strip those back as well to accommodate the Wago or wire nut that they may be spliced into. Next, secure the 3 amp blade fuse by pressing it firmly into its holder. Locate a Wago or wire nut which contains the neutral for the wiring harness, then tie the DC adapter's black wire into that splice. Next, splice the DC adapter's positive red wire and one end of the 3 amp blade fuses connection together in a Wago or wire nut. Tie the opposite end of the 3 amp fuse into the 12 volt power supply in the harness. Route the power supply's connector through the cabinetry and secure it if necessary. You can now reinstall all of the drawers, cabinets, and plumbing, which may have been removed during the procedure, in order to complete the OEM prep kit installation. 